Milky Sea, unusual phenomenon answered. Ocean has always been the subject of curiosity to scientists, and the Milky Sea is one such phenomenon that has drawn the interest of many scientists and researchers. Imagine you are sailing on the ocean late at night, enjoying the cold breeze under the clear sky, and all of a sudden, you see a white spot glowing on the surface of the water. Within a few minutes, you notice you are sailing on the glowing white water. For a few minutes, you will enjoy the mesmerizing beauty. But how long will you stay mesmerized? At some point, you will be horrified. Viewing the surroundings turning into something unexpected can frighten anyone, and especially if it's night time. This is exactly what happened with British merchant vessel SS Lima and his crew on 25 January 1995. He reported that at 9 p.m. local time on a clear moonless night while sailing to the east of the Somalian coast, a whitish glow on the horizon was observed, and after 15 minutes, the ship was surrounded by a milky white color. It seemed like the ship was sailing over snow. It was not the first time someone had observed the Milky Sea. Marines have noticed this phenomenon for centuries, and more were found in the northwestern Indian Ocean and near Indonesia. It was just not addressed then. In the 1800s, sailors witnessed similar occurrences on the horizon of the sea. The mesmerized sailor had no clue of its cause but was sure it was dire. So, have scientists ever shown interest in finding the mystery behind the Milky Sea? Of course, they have. This video is all about it. But the thing is, research on the Milky Sea started pretty late in 2005. But scientists have reached a conclusion. So, let's find out what the research reveals. Decades after the incident with British merchant vessel SS Lima, Dr. Miller and his colleagues set themselves for the mission to search for answers. They took the first step to collect proof that supports Lima's statement. They used the Defense Meteorological Satellite Program. The satellite image they got from the spot where Lima encountered the Milky Sea was proved genuine. The image revealed a glowing sea and it was extremely massive, covering 15,400 km square. The mystery that was never talked about before got a place on the table for discussion. After knowing the Milky Sea is not sailors' imagination, Scientists got a new and interesting topic to work on. The Milky Sea is not the first unusual phenomenon. Numbers of sea mysteries have been discovered over a decade, and many haven't been solved to date. Humans have just identified nature's phenomena. But questions like why mysterious events happen, what causes the events, and how it happens are still buried within nature. So, like many sea mysteries, is the Milky Sea also an unsolved mystery? Well, it can't be labeled unsolved, but it is also not completely solved. Scientists have partially explained the mystery of the Milky Sea, but there are many questions scientists have yet to find. While working on the scientific level on the Milky Sea, they were able to find the reason behind the cause but could not answer why. They stated that bioluminescent bacteria are behind the phenomenon. These bacteria have the ability to glow continuously in the water, and a small group of bacteria is not capable of illuminating on the sea surface. It requires an extremely large number of bacteria to produce light. Luciferin is the substance that is responsible for producing light, and luciferase is the enzyme that catalyzes the oxidation of luciferin that creates light as a byproduct. But why does it occur? And why does it happen in a specific area? 
this is something that's still to be answered. Though scientists are unable to answer all the questions related to the Milky Sea, they have discovered some characteristics of bioluminescent bacteria. Scientists have uncovered the living style of these bacteria. They said that bacteria are not free-living. Instead, they are living in association with an algal bloom. The best conclusion scientists have reached is that bioluminescent bacteria live in a large amount on the sea's surface to glow and are colonizing organic material in the ocean, and it is harmful and can make humans sick. Though this mysterious discovery was answered in 2005, it's not that no one has talked about it. It's just that the Milky Sea was not researched on the scientific level. Jules Verne has talked about the Milky Sea in his novel 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea in 1870. In his book, he describes the occurrence of the Milky Sea on 27th of January. He narrates the ship is traveling across the sea and claims bacteria are glowing. He mentioned this phenomenon in page number 151. About 7 o'clock in the evening, the Nautilus, half emerged, was sailing in a sea of milk. At first sight, the ocean seemed lactified. Was it the effect of the lunar rays? No, for the moon scarcely two days old was still lying hidden under the horizon in the ray of the sun. The whole sky, though lit by the sidereal rays, seemed black by contrast with the witness of the waters. Conceal could not believe his eyes and questioned me as to the cause of this strange phenomenon. Happily, I was able to answer him. It is called a milk sea, I explained. A large extent of white wavelets often to be seen on the coasts of Amboina and in these parts of the sea. But sir, said Conseil, can you tell me what causes such an effect? For I suppose the water is not really turned into milk. No, my boy, and the whiteness which surprises you is caused by the presence of myriads of infosoria a sort of luminous little worm, gelatinous and without color, of the thickness of a hair, and whose length is not more than seven thousands of an inch. These insects adhere to one another sometimes for several leagues. Several leagues? exclaimed Conceal. Yes, my boy, and you need not try to compute the number of these infosoria. You will not be able for if I am not mistaken, ships have floated on these milk seas for more than 40 miles. Towards midnight, the sea suddenly resumed its usual color, but behind us, even to the limits of the horizon, the sky reflected the whitened waves for a long time seemed impregnant with the vague glimmerings of an aurora borealis. Before the mystery of the milky sea was not even identified by the scientist, Jules Verne already explained the phenomenon in 1870. Do like, share and subscribe to our channel. Stay connected as we have more mysteries to share.